Convert to the nearest decimal form. To convert a fraction to a decimal, we're going to need to divide. But let's start by separating out our whole number and our fraction. This is the same thing as 7 plus 5 over 7. And now we can take this and find its decimal form by dividing 5 over 7. is the same as 5 divided by 7. So we can set up a long division problem. How many times can 7 go into 5? It can't go into 5 at all, but we add a decimal and we add a zero, and now we can say how many times can seven go into 50? That would be seven times. Seven times seven gives us 49, and then we subtract. 50 minus 49 is one, add another zero and bring it down. Seven can go into 10 one time, and at this point, we could have already eliminated answer choice D and C for not having 0.7 as its first digit, so these two would cancel out. And then we can see that our tenths place, or our hundredths place, excuse me, should be the number one, not the number six, so we can eliminate answer choice B. And by process of elimination, we can see that A is our correct answer. At this point, you could mark A and move on with the rest of the test. However, for the sake of the video, I'll show you the rest of the problem. From here, we would have seven times one is seven, we would subtract, 10 minus seven is three, add another zero and bring it down. Seven can go into 30 four times, seven times four is 28. We subtract, we are left with two and it will keep going. However, all of our questions, or excuse me, all of our answers are dealing with only three decimal places. So we have 0 0.714, seven plus, Instead of 5 sevenths, we now have the decimal form of 0 0.714. When we add these together, we get the number 7.714, making A our correct answer.